Hello, I'm Lizelle Sambri and welcome back to my channel where I talk about traditional publishing, writing, and a little bit of reading. And today we are continuing the next installment in the Save the Cat deep dive series. This is a series that I do in which I break down basically how I use the Save the Cat beats in my own story. If you're not familiar, Save the Cat is a story writing structure originally developed by Blake Snyder uh, for screenwriting and then there was a book that was written later by Jessica Brody called Save the Cat Writes a Novel which I read which was for novel writing <laughs> and so that's my basis for this series. I will have a link in the description. I have a link to in, in the description to the entire playlist for this series and also to a video in which I talk about how to create compelling characters which is how I kind of create the character arcs for characters because that tends to come up pretty much in every video that I make for this and so I'm just gonna link it right off the top Again, this is not prescriptive. This is just how I do it and I'm just sharing it in case it helps you with how you use the story structure. But this isn't something that I'm saying you have to do or you must do. Um, I am not a Save the Cat expert. This is just kind of how I use it in my own story. And today we're talking about the all is lost beat. This is, I think, maybe the first definition that I'm going to be paraphrasing <laughs> because there wasn't kind of a direct definition in the book that was exact. But essentially, this is rock bottom for the hero in order to force them to change. And so that is what the all is lost beat is all about. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to begin with talking about how you choose the rock bottom for that character. And so we have actually talked about this in the previous video about bad guys close in, because in order to do the bad guys close in beat, the way that I do it is that I think of what the all is lost moment is going to be ahead of time. So if you are following how I do this and you watch the last video, um, you will have already chosen the rock bottom moment for your character. So you already know what is going to be happening in this beat. And really the additional thing I will say as like, I suppose a reminder of the all is lost section is that this is really supposed to be the lowest moment for the character. Like this is, if there's a waveform thing, this is the very bottom peak this is the floor for the character. This is the absolute worst it's going to get for them. Um, and I will say sometimes you may have like a twist at the end of a book. Um, I think particularly if you're writing like thrillers or horrors, in which case it's like, no, this is like way worse for the character. But to me, that's in the reader's mind. So in the reader's mind, whatever twist happens at the end may to them seem worse. But for the character, this should be the rock bottom moment. This should be the absolute lowest moment. And that's how I think of it because I think, you know, especially if you're writing thriller books or horror books, sometimes you want like a twist at the end where like things kind of get bad for the character, but like in the character's mind, in their full journey, this is kind of that bottom moment. Well, this is not as kind of it is. But what do you put in this beat? So this beat is quite short. So it's basically, according to Save the Cat Writes a Novel, it's 5% of your book. So for me personally, usually this is like one, maybe two if it's necessary, but usually probably one chapter um, to illustrate this rock bottom moment. So it's essentially like the character going up to the rock bottom moment, experiencing the rock bottom moment, and then kind of an immediate short emotional fallout. Um, I don't go farther than that in this beat because the next beat is Dark Knight of the Soul, which is what I would call like, I call it like the moping beat. <laughs> Like that's where your character mopes and gets sad and emo about stuff. Like that's the time to go through the emotion of, oh my God, I can't believe this happened to me, blah, 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 blah. But like this moment is really for the thing happening, for the actual hitting of rock bottom, for the leading up to the hitting of rock bottom, the immediate lead up, the rock bottom and the immediate fallout. And so that is how I would think of this all is lost beat, especially because it is so short. Sometimes I play with the percentages in Save the Cat because sometimes if you're writing a longer novel, especially if you're doing like a fantasy novel, like that 5% could technically be two chapters, but really I'm often just going to make it one chapter so that I can get 
the emotional hit in the chapter and then I move on to Dark Knight of the Soul. So sometimes I will move up Dark Knight of the Soul in percentage a little bit more for that. So for example, say you have a character and the lie that they believe is that they are unlovable. No one, no one could ever love them in like a romantic way. And so what they want to do is they want to find some way to trick this person into liking them. Let's say that because you know, it makes it a little bit spicy. Um, <laughs> And then what they need to do is to realize that they are lovable without the external validation of others. So that's what they need to get to. So that's kind of the character arc we're working with, say. So their all is lost moment is going to be that they see their love interest kiss someone else. So that is their all is lost moment for them because it also, it reaffirms the lie they believe that they are unlovable because this person that they've, you know, trying to trick into this, that they're pursuing, kiss someone else so they're that kind of reaffirms to them that like they like someone else they could never like me that sort of thing and so that moment so it could be like you know maybe they were gonna like bring flowers to them or something they were gonna do some sort of romantic gesture and they're trying to find the person and then they see the kiss happen and they have an immediate kind of emotional fallout maybe they throw their gift on the ground and they like flee into the night and so to me that would be the all is lost chapter and like wherever you set that say you set it at a party so then the lead up maybe has some party stuff maybe you have some interactions with them etc um if you really want to dig into it you can have some interactions where they feel really like this interaction is going to go well i'm going to give them this gift and everything is going to work out despite all of the not so great things that have been happening in bad guys close in leading up to this moment this is what's going to fix it this is what's going to work out i'm going to give them this gift and it's all gonna be all right we're gonna be a couple they're gonna love me I will feel validated I will get what I want I will win this is my story I'm the main character and then you get to that all is lost moment I'm laughing because I'm terrible <laughs> terrible this is the stuff I do to poor characters editing Lizelle jumping in here to add on to this example um I wanted to add on to it because in this case like what is happening in the all in lost moment sh all is lost moment should be as a result or somewhat related to the lie that the character believes and the fact that they're sticking to this lie so in this particular example you might have they see this whole thing with the kiss and maybe the love interest notices the main character and maybe they can have a sort of confrontation and the love interest can kind of express that like the fact that the main character so constantly expresses that no one could ever love them has actually been something that has like really turned off that person or has really pushed them aside or they feel as though the main character doesn't even actually like them that they just want them to like them back um, that they didn't even pay attention to who they might be interested in something like that um, and that sort of quick confrontation can be part of the all is lost but just something to express the fact that like what has led to this thing is because of the main character sticking to that lie so that they are responsible in some way for this all is lost moment. And before we finish with this beat, I just want to talk about the whiff of death. So this is something that Save the Cat mentions as something that you can do um, in your all is lost moment. And this essentially means what it sounds like. <laughs> so either someone almost dies or they do die um, and save the cat mentions that this can be great when it is a mentor character because then the character your main character has to continue on in their journey alone and so what the mentor was helping them with they now have to take all of that and do that by themselves and so the death of that mentor character can be helpful in that way which is probably why that's something that you see a lot happening in books um, but essentially just kind of coming near death or actually dying and another key point of this is that it needs to in some way be the main character's fault so the fact that they are so attached to their lie um, that needs to directly in some way be the reason that this person nearly dies or does die whether that's the main character or someone else obviously your main character well I was like, your main character probably isn't going to die. But it, that's the reason, because it gives your character something to reflect upon, because the fact of the matter is the, 
them clinging to this lie is the reason this happens and so it gives them an even harder push and forcing <laughs> into changing and to moving beyond that lie and to moving from what they want to what they need because the fact that they were tr still trying to cling to the lie is the reason that this really really terrible rock bottom moment thing happened to them and so that's a suggestion that Save the Cat makes and they're specific about it, which is why I wanted to mention it. Um, and I just naturally, to me, I think that, yeah, if you're going to do the rock bottom, someone dying really works out for it. But I will say, I think if you're going to do the death thing, I do think there are some things to keep in mind that I keep in mind with my writing is like, first of all, that character has to matter. Um, it for the all is lost moment specifically because the point is that what happens here affects your character's journey that character that dies needs to matter they can't be just anyone because how is that affecting your character's journey um and so that's the thing that i would concentrate on it really needs to be a character who matters in the grand scheme of thing and who matters to the character's journey and the second thing that i'll say about that is you also need to have built up to it um i said again this none of this is prescriptive prescriptive but you should have built up to it if you're gonna kill a character it's like helpful to kind of feel some sort of build up and that doesn't necessarily mean that you like put in a bunch of hints that the character is dying like they're seeing bad omens and stuff or anything but just kind of like you've built up the character enough for that moment to have that impact like I said and so it might be the character's best friend so of course if you're gonna kill their best friend it's gonna have some sort of impact on them but if you build up to it in that bad guys close in section the way that I talked about in that video you know so that we're really solidifying why this best friend character is so important to the main character how much they're helping them how like much this person means to them building that up before you get to that moment so that it has the emotional impact and the emotional resonance that it is supposed to have for the main character because if that is not built up that way it can really fall flat when it actually happens and that's not what you want to happen you want the all is lost moment to feel impactful and that's it for this beat i suspect this was a very short video but this is a very short beat um and we will have more to talk about when we get to the next beat when we talk talk about Dark Knight of the Soul, which is the next video that will be coming up. I cannot remember when I'm going to post it, so I will not go ahead and say that. What I will say is that I have gotten a copy of uh, Save the Cat Writes a Novel for Young Adults. That is one that Jessica Brody has just released, and so it's Save the Cat Writes a Novel, but with specific things for young adult literature and young adult books, and as someone who's a young adult author, I'm very interested in it. So whenever I get that finished, I think that will be a kind of like bonus content for this series is that I will do a kind of video just to talk about if there's anything like significantly different that I think you know is worth kind of adding on to or chatting about um, I'll probably do a standalone video like that so just wanted to add that in but that's really it for this beat if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and thank you so much for watching bye